Hey yo, what's up guys? It is me Zane, back here with another video. It's officially been a year since I did my last room tour video. Now I know a lot of you guys have been asking for another one, so I'm here today to bring you guys that content. I really enjoyed making my last room tour video and the response was great from you guys. So without further ado guys, I'm gonna be taking you around my room, showing you what stuff I have in my room and really everything about it. Throughout the video, I will also be putting little pop tags for certain products or things that I have in my room that I think you guys would might find interesting and I will be leaving all the links in the description down below for you guys to purchase them. Alright, now let's get on into it. Okay, so this is what you see when you first walk inside my room. Okay, so let's start off with my workspace. So this is where I spend about 60% of my time when I am in my room. I'm either editing, producing music, graphic designing. It could be a bunch of different things, 3D modeling. If you guys are interested, I do have a setup video that I've already made in the past. It's from two years ago, so it is kind of outdated, but let me know if you guys would like to see an updated version of that. So on my desk, I have these Mackie monitors. They're really, really good. I'm not sure which exact size they are, but I will link them down in the description down below. It even gives you the option to plug in an auxiliary cord or a headphone jack. I recently got these headphones a couple months back and these things are life changers. These are the Audio-Technica ATH Pro 5X. These things are amazing. I'm pretty sure I got them for around $130. They're slightly noise canceling and they have such great sound. I highly recommend you guys go check them out. On my table, I have this really nice Huion graphics tablet. I use this when I am graphic designing. There's no programs involved. All you gotta do is really plug it in and install one driver. It's a really great quality product if you guys are interested, by the way. As you can see guys, I do not have a dual monitor setup. I just have one single monitor, but it does the job. It's really great. It's a pretty standard Acer monitor. I got it a couple years back. I'm gonna say like five or six years back and I've been using it ever since. It's a really great monitor. I recently got this keyboard and mouse for my birthday actually. It's an RGB keyboard. It doesn't really have so many cool features. It's just kind of basic. It's not like the ones where you can customize. It has three settings for the lights. I'll link those two. And this mouse actually came with it, which is pretty cool. It's a wired mouse and I have my microphone set up on this stand that I got off of Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's from the people over at Monkey. The microphone that I'm currently using and have been using for, I'm going to say for about three or four years now, is this Blue Snowball Ice microphone. Honestly, the best budget microphone you can find out there. This costed me about $70. Really, really great. Does the job. And I also got this pop filter off of Amazon. And I also have an external SD card reader from Kingston. And I have this Microsoft webcam. I'm not sure specifically what product model it is but I will link it down below or even put it up on the screen right now and for recording electric guitar parts and stuff like that I have this complete audio interface from the people over at Native Instruments and right below my desk we have my PC this is a Dell G5 all the specs will be on the screen right now I don't know much about specs and all that stuff but all I know is that it's a great computer this baby costed me around like 1600 something like that really great PC I highly recommend it and that's it also forgot to mention that my desk is a Z shaped desk, you know, for Zane. Of course, you guys are probably all wondering about my graffiti wall. I got this graffiti wall done when my room was getting renovated a couple years back. So I got this done about eight years ago. My room used to look like this, if you guys were wondering. 
I mean, it's changed a lot drastically since. So we actually got this done by someone who was a college student and offered to do it for very cheap. And he did an amazing job. I really like it. We have the waveforms there for, you know, because since I love music and audio and stuff. So of course, you guys have probably already noticed the LEDs up on top and at the bottom. I first had them at the bottom, if you guys remember in my last room tour video. But this past summer, I actually got them installed up on my top here, all around here. On the right side of my desk, we also have my garbage can, a to-do list, and my calendar. I normally mark down stuff I really got to do urgently, like study. And I normally just write stuff I got to do on this green whiteboard. All right, now onto the next wall. So on this side of the room, I actually have a bunch of my musical instruments, a bunch of bags, and I recently added this monitor and I'll explain why after. I'm gonna go start from left to right just because. For those who don't know, I actually do play electric guitar. I know keys by ear and I play acoustic guitar. I've been playing acoustic and electric guitar now for about nine years. There's definitely some performances you can look up online of me playing if you guys are curious. So my amplifier is a Cube 20 GX. It's the perfect amp for me. Besides the weight, it's a really great amp. It has all these effects that you can already put on it, meaning you don't need to buy any pedals and stuff like that, you know? I have this black Ibanez electric guitar, really nice. I have my M-Audio Code 49 MIDI controller, probably one of the best MIDI controllers out there. It's a little big, but it's perfect for playing a full set of octaves, you know? And right besides that, we have my Yamaha acoustic guitar. Right next to that, we have my camera bag, which is sitting on two shoe boxes. I don't know why. And I have my green beanbag chair. I rarely sit in this chair. I normally throw my bag on it when I'm done school. So yeah, we have my champion school bag. It has some cool keychains on it. I got all of these off of eBay actually. Now what I'm trying to do with the monitors, I'm actually trying to use it to achieve some very cool effects with the camcorder. It's hard to explain, but I'm probably going to be using it in this video. And of course on the wall, we have a picture of me playing guitar because, you know, it's my little music shrine. For those who don't know, my life is heavily based around video and music production. I both love those fields of creativity. It's just always been a passion of mine. So what's actually really interesting about my bed and all this furniture is that it's all built in, meaning it's connected to the wall. I can't move anything. I know a lot of people, they like to move their beds around. I, I never understood that, but mine's just fixed and you can't really move it. So on the right side of my nightstand, I have my three cause figures, which I unboxed in a Taobao unboxing haul. So you guys have probably already seen those. Right next to that, I have my Amazon Echo, my 3DS, my iPhone, my AirPods, and my iPad that I rarely use. For those who are curious which games I actually play on my 3DS still. I play Kirby, Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2. I really enjoyed the new Super Mario's series. I know there's only two games made, but you know, I play it time to time. I really enjoy Nintendo products, so yeah. In my drawer over here, we have some chargers, some SD cards, some USBs, some wires, phone cases, wallet, and some fidget toys just from when I'm really bored. Okay, now for my bed. So my bed is actually a queen size bed. I love this bed. This bed is amazing. I actually have some really dope memory foam pillows. I love memory foam. And of course, the main thing that you guys are very curious about are these Takashi Murakami flower pillows. These things have overall changed the vibe of my room so much. I love these things. If I had to give advice for one decoration to change up your whole environment of your room, I would highly recommend you guys go cop one of these. I don't know what it is about it, but it just changes the mood and the vibe of your room so much. It makes it 10 times cooler. So I got three of these. You guys have probably seen me unbox it in a Taobao unboxing video. They're really, really cozy and comfortable to sleep with. What I actually like to do is I like to have like one behind my head, then I'll stack two of them and prop up my MacBook over there so that I can watch videos from my bed. All right, now onto the other side of my nightstand. Now over here, I don't have much. I have this Cookie Monster Bear Brick and I have this Ron English Krusty the Clown figure. Over here, we have my MacBook Pro. This was a recent purchase of mine. I actually got this used. This is a mid-2009 computer. I know, extremely old, but it does the job. My main purpose for it was to actually use it for school and it does the job. It's great. I got this thing used for like 200 bucks, which is amazing. This is also my first Apple computer product, so it has definitely opened up my eyes a little bit, and I really enjoy it. Now, for what's inside my drawer on this side, I just have a bunch of camera equipment, you know, some chargers. I have a camera in here, an extra battery for that camera, a clamp. I have some cleaning solution for the lens, selfie stick, another charger, some wide angles, you know. And over here, it's kind of messy, but I have some Apple chargers, some speakers, some iPods, and yeah, that's really it. And on this shelf, I have a bunch of cameras and a broken record player with my Flower Boy vinyl on it. 
I actually tried to fix up this thing. I got it at a garage sale, didn't work, real shame. So it just really sits out here. And in the corner over here, I have my off white belt that I got in one Chaba video, but it does not fit me and I haven't worn it since I got it. And guys, don't ask if you can have it. I mean, I would give it to you, but I'm telling you, this is like abnormally large. Like no one will be able to fit this. You'd have to wrap it around yourself like three or four times. So yeah, I have a camcorder here. I have another Sony camera there and another Sony handheld digital camera there. At the bottom drawer of my shelf, I actually do keep all my stickers. As you guys know, I showed you my whole sticker collection of a couple videos back. And on the side of my bed, I actually have a decal on the floor of my name. And in these drawers on the right, I just have a bunch of shirts, you know, AUG, CPFM, Golf Wang, Bathing A, Supreme, Garden Party, Golf Wang, Kanye West, Spitfire, Thrasher, you know, just a bunch of stuff. And at the bottom drawer, I have a bunch of shorts, but you know, everything's piling up. Got some babe shorts, golf wank flame shorts, I don't know if you guys can see over there. Got some B shorts, you know, just a bunch of stuff. Now on to my top shelves. So I actually have a bunch of stuff up here. And some things I just have up here because they're funny to me. Some of these things mean a lot to me. Some of these are just here for decoration. So on this end, we have a troll doll with a picture of me. I don't know why that's there. I don't like it, whatever. Over here, we have some official licensed Disney Muppet figurines, you know? I'll get into those later. Over here, we have my Tyler the Creator Shrine with Flower Boy vinyl, a Wolf CD, and a Cherry Bomb CD. You guys can watch me unbox these two CDs in a couple videos back. I'll leave it right at the top corner. Corner. You guys can just click on it. I have this Kermit the Frog plush and this animal plush. I guess I'll return back to the topic of the Muppets. Basically, when I was a kid, I really, really, really fell in love with the Muppets and Jim Henson Studios. But there was something that just really drew me in. So I have a bunch of this stuff just because I bought it and I think it still looks cool up here. And right behind those plushes, I have this Michael Jackson bad vinyl. Still sealed actually, which is pretty cool. Over here, I have this baby doll and this bear that I customized. I actually made this doll have a custom Supreme BOGO shirt. Kinda messed it up, but you know, whatever. It did look good at one point. I have this bear that I drew the Supreme logo on with a purple marker, pretty dope. I have this Mario figure over here. Over here, I have a couple phone boxes and my box for my camera. By the way, I have an EOS Rebel T7i for anyone who is curious. I also have Gunnar Stahl's portraits book. I actually ended up getting this for free, which is a crazy, crazy story. Basically, it was taking them way too long and it went over the expected date that it was supposed to come in, so they just refunded me the money and then one day it just showed up at my door. So this book has a bunch of photos of rappers in it. Gunnar Stahl is friends with a lot of rappers. He shoots for a lot of them. I kind of got this book for inspiration and my love for hip-hop and rap. Of course we got Lil Uzi Vert there. You know, Playboy Cardi, Lil Yachty. Anyways, tons of portraits in here. Really cool book. Up here we have this Perrier Takashi Murakami bottle. I actually found it in a store by accident and I thought, you know, it'd be pretty cool to have so I bought it and I put it up here. Right behind that we have my dad's old film cameras. We have an Olympus. None of these work because I don't have the correct batteries for them, unfortunately. I don't shoot on film. I want to, but you know, it's pretty expensive to shoot on film. And over here, we actually have an action figure of myself. I'm not gonna explain the story now, but if you guys wanna hear the story of how I got that, you guys can go check out my last room tour video. Up here, we have a bunch of boxes for the cause figures and other figures I've received in the past. I have this Tickle Me Elmo just for an aesthetic vibe. We have this double bubble machine. And of course, to commemorate two of amazing movies. I have the Borat DVD and the Don't Mess With The Zohan DVD up here. I have an empty jar of Nutella, not sure why, I thought it looked dope, and a Kermit the Frog head. I just kind of add these random things up here because I think it gives the shelves more life instead of just putting like a bunch of little things. I put a bunch of big things up here so that it looks more full. Okay, now onto this side of the room. I think we're gonna first take a look at my closet. Of course, on one of my closet doors, I have this Cherry Bomb poster that came with the CD. Really, really cool. Now, onto the closet. I'm only gonna be showing you guys the clothes that I have and the hats up there and the shoe boxes. But you know, I have some essential hoodies like I have this Kid Cudi XCPFM, Kanye West XCPFM, Essentials, another Essentials hoodie, Supreme Bogo Crew Neck, Takashi Murakami, XOVO, Odd Future, Supreme, basically all this stuff in here. And on top of that, I have my baseball caps. I have a Supreme one over there, Golf Wang one. 
one over there. Now the studio's one over there, and a garden party hat over there. And above that, I have my shoe boxes that I keep up there. So that's gonna wrap it up for the actual room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm pretty sure I didn't do as great of a job as I did last time, like showing you guys my room and explaining everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed anyways. Maybe I'm putting a little bit too much pressure on myself. I'm not too sure. Let me know what type of video you guys would like to see next. Again, I have the whole summer off. Let me know if you guys would actually like to see some vlogs this summer. I'm really down to vlog. I, I don't know. Maybe not when I'm away because I really want to enjoy it because it's my first time traveling since a year or more, you know? But maybe I could do some summer vlogs where I'm hanging out with friends and I'll bring you guys along. Hopefully it'll be entertaining. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Subscribe to Zen Buckle. <laughs>